As the fighting between Israel and Hamas intensifies, UNICEF is warning children in the region are facing much more than just physical danger. Executive Director Catherine Russell tells the UN Security Council children in both Israel and Gaza are experiencing terrible tra trauma, the consequences of which could last a lifetime. UNICEF spokesperson Toby Fricker joins me now from Amman with more. Toby, right now there's so much focus on the physical toll this war is taking and the physical danger people are in. Why, given that, is UNICEF calling attention to the psychological toll? Why is that so important right now? Yeah, no, thank you. I mean, the psychological toll and, uh, of, of what's going on now is, is also horrific. And, and it's so important because it not only has a, an immediate impact on children, but a long-term impact. So as an example, yeah, one of our staff members was even telling us about her four-year-old daughter who's been ripping at her hair. She's been scratching her thighs till they bleed. She's in such distress, it's leading to self-harm. Yeah, and that's now. Um, and, and further down the line in years to come, this violence, this exposure to violence, both inside the Gaza Strip, but also you know, Israeli children and across the region, uh, has a massive impact. And, and it has a long-lasting impact on, on child development, on well-being, on learning ability. Um, and that's why we bring attention to that. But also, you know, to say that really right now, we really need to stop uh, the killing, injuring of children. And we really need to see children who are being held as, as hostages to be released. Now, Israel hit the uh, Jebeliah refugee camp twice in 24 hours. They say they were targeting Hamas and that they killed the top Hamas commander in the process. How worried are you about claims that Hamas is using civilians as human shields, hiding behind civilian locations, and what that could mean for civilian casualties in this war? I mean, I think what we're really worried about, and, and not even worried about, I mean, we're seeing it day in, day out, more than 400 children killed and injured. Uh, this is a very densely populated area. You know, the Gaza Strip is geographically small. It's, let's not forget, half the population are children. That's more than one million children. Um, and they're coming under attack every day. And, th and this is the massive, massive concern. We that's why we're seeing these huge numbers. And that's why we are calling, as UNICEF, the UN Secretary General, and many, many others, calling for this immediate humanitarian ceasefire so to stop the killing, so that no more children are killed or injured. And at the same time, to enable us then to be able to scale up humanitarian aid, life-saving aid, to get into the Gaza Strip, but also then to move around the Gaza Strip once it's inside. And we've been reporting on the restrictions on aid moving into Gaza and that stress on Gaza's water and sanitation systems, to name the least. How are things looking now that the Rafa border crossing is open? Well, I mean, let me say that the amount of aid that's coming in is still highly inadequate to the immense needs uh, that we have inside the Gaza Strip. So, so UNICEF here, we've had around about 34 trucks come in since October the 21st, and in total, uh, I believe it's around 227 uh, trucks of life-saving aid. And that's nowhere near enough. You need something like up to at least 100 trucks coming in because the needs are, are massive and immense. And we, we saw that even before this current escalation, even before then, you needed uh, huge numbers of aid to get into the Gaza Strip to alleviate some of the suffering and some of the, the issues with resources in terms of sort of medical equipment, in terms of safe water, getting in hygiene kits. And that's why it's so important to at least alleviate some suffering, get that aid in as quickly as we can, and then distribute it to shelters and to hospitals as, as soon as we can as well. All right, UNICEF's Toby Fricker. Toby, we appreciate your time today. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.